Merry Christmas, y'all. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video, man. I know it's been kind of a while. I want to say it's been a little over a week and a half, and uh, I haven't really been able to record on this channel as much like I wanted to, but I've been hella swamped which is videos for the in the clutch page i literally come home to sleep like i literally don't really get a chance to record like i want to i have been keeping up what's been going on on the main roster with daniel bryan and uh seth rollins i was able to watch nxt last week i didn't get a chance to watch AEW, but i did enjoy the adam cole versus uh um, Finn Balor match where Johnny Gargano interfered a little. I said interfered, interfered a little bit, and then I also watched uh, Shayna Baszler versus Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley becoming the new Women's NXT Champion. That was a dope moment. I was able to watch that. Didn't really catch Raw or SmackDown of last week. Hadn't really been too interested, mainly because the main roster, when it comes to like their like the main storylines they're cool but the rest of the storylines that they be having i really too much don't care for so i'm gonna try to keep up with things if there are some things y'all want me to check out from the main roster let me know and i'll try my hardest to make time so i can you know bring y'all the best content possible on this channel but today we're switching it up going back to a little bit of some old school reactions i haven't done like a just a old school reaction type video in a minute and what i mean by old school uh we're gonna be checking out the best moves of 2006 part one uh it's not technically old school but we are entering in a new decade so it's been a minute since i've checked out just like older wrestling clips so if y'all want me to get back to more of that let me know comment down below but hopefully everyone's having a fantastic christmas i know i am i've been very blessed with just the amount of love and support i've been getting on this channel the end of clutch page and you guys are pretty awesome y'all honestly no matter how cliche this sounds y'all are pretty much the best gift possible and i appreciate each and every one of y'all that subscribed to me and and still subscribe to me so let's check this out I know there's going to be some pretty dope clips. I'm going to see if I can remember some of these uh, clips. It's been a while since I've seen some wrestling from 06. So let's check it out together, man. And let's see uh, what we got going on here. Oh, Benjamin with the massive kick. Well, knee. I remember that. <laughs> the table game. <laughs> I remember seeing that live. I remember watching that. I ain't gonna lie to you. SmackDown in the Ruthless Aggression era, they were the A show. I mean, Raw was cool. I think Raw was better in the Attitude era. But when it came to, like, the Ruthless Aggression Gresham era, they had some of the better matches, some of the best wrestling on that show. Look at this, man. I only I think this was just a random SmackDown. I'm not even sure. But they had some really good wrestlers on that show, man. Ooh. And tag team wrestling was God damn. Tag team wrestling was important. That's dope. I remember that he got destroyed. I think Batista had got injured from that match. Ooh. <laughs> Bro, that knee. Sheldon Benjamin with that knee. Ooh. He ate most of the steel. Ooh. And for those who don't know, for my younger audience, man, the Elimination Chamber, we didn't have the padding, it had steel grates. So whenever they got outside the ring, 
their flesh was hidden still. Now, I get why they put the padding there. I know some people are like, oh, that's lame. But these people, we're literally watching them destroy their bodies for our entertainment. So I understand why they put the padding there, protect the wrestlers, make sure they have a longer career. Because I'm sure wrestling in that type of match can shorten your career significantly. Oh. Oh my god, bro. New Year's Revolution. Wow. At the time, John Cena was uh still the champ. <laughs> oh my god, yo. The concerto. The Rufus aggression era was nice, I ain't gonna lie. Kurt Angle was a savage too. He became more of a savage at this point in his career. <laughs> now Raw had some good, good matches and good talented like wrestlers, but I feel like SmackDown just had the better wrestlers in the Ruthless Aggression era. <laughs> this was before the um like. Unprotected chair shots was a thing at this point still. Like, that was a big thing. Blood was still kind of used at this point still. So, oh, man, it's crazy seeing those type of chair shots then. And now it's you usually have to have your hands up. They rarely do unprotected chair shots, which we understand why. Those are a... Uh, I, this was around the time of Chris Benoit being alive and... After he had uh, committed suicide, I believe they did do an autopsy. He said his his brain wasn't the same from all those head butts and chair shots. They said his brain was just not where it needed to be. So at that point, that's when they was like, yo, we got to chill out on the chair shots because we ain't trying to get sued. And uh, it just looks bad for the company. So, But back then, it was it was fair game. Blast away with the chair shots, man. Mm. Ric Flair was a, a prominent figure in uh, some pretty good storylines around that time. Bro, that's a lot of hype. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I love the, the pop from the chair. Oh. Oh. This is bringing back some good nostalgia. Sheldon Benjamin can go too. Oh my God. That made my back hurt. God damn. Yo, just threw him. Oh, no, nah, that was dope. That was dope, man. This was when WWE cared about tag team wrestling, especially on uh, SmackDown. Ooh. This was at the Royal Rumble. No, the Royal Rumble that uh, Rey Mysterio won that year. Man, R.P. Eddie. Uh, it was dedicated basically to Eddie Guerrero, and that was an amazing performance to see Rey Mysterio win that. He lasted like over an hour in that in that match, so that was dope. They it was great booking. They it, it the booking was perfect for that match. God damn! Woo. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's <laughs> Bitch. Oh. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> and I love how the ref is dead over there. 
God damn. The Mexicos, I remember them. This is wow, bro. Tag team wrestling was so good in WWE. And then you had a, a good mid card. At this time, the mid card was solid. If you want to be honest, the mid card really made SmackDown what it was. Because there were some main event players, but the mid card was actually pretty good. It's always good to have a, a solid mid card and a solid tag team. Because now, even though you may not have some big feuds, you have guys that can build up some entertaining wrestling and you still have those main feuds that you're focusing on that's what's the problem with wwe the tag team division dead the mid card division might as well be dead there's not nothing holding people together other than the main stuff the main storylines but when you got like a three or two hour show and the only part you care about is the main storylines you have a rest hour or two hours of a show that you just don't care about because the mid card division is not built up and the tag team division not built up so you don't give a damn about them but back then they definitely had it <laughs> oh my god, damn. Come on now! Come on now! I remember Chris Masters. He, he wasn't the best, but he had a, a look that made him look better than what he was. Ooh. And I miss the unique pay-per-view names and themes. That shit was so dope. Oh, wow. Angle slam. I'm telling you, Kurt Angle was a savage at this point in his career. Like, he, he could go. I remember the Spirit Squad. <laughs> Bro, that's a lot of weight. <laughs> oh my God. The Mexicans were actually pretty good, man. They were hella good. Oh. You see, it's now to take legs in the air, and you hear that boom, knees just destroyed. I don't know why that's funny to me. I remember that. I thought he killed him. I thought he killed. I remember that too. I remember that too. It's like remembering like these oh Jesus <laughs> I remember this too Oh man, the coast to coast. 
that good. Oh, the shillelagh. <laughs> Oh, God damn, bro. That nigga Kurt was the truth. Oh. Oh, my God. And then he just gets up and smiles. That's that's a, so savage, bro. <laughs> Think about this. That was Saturday night main event, bro. And you see how packed it was, how entertaining that was. Like, that wasn't even just the main thing. That was just Saturday night pain of it. Wasn't a major pay-per-view. You feel me? Like, I just miss those those type of, type of, like, events. Like, Saturday night main event. Like, just something special. It's not the main stuff, but it's still, they treated it as such. So, I like, I miss those type of uh, pay-per-views slash events they used to have. <laughs> oh, you hear the boom. <laughs> This was a Saturday night main event, bro. <laughs> Bitch! Whoa! <laughs> Oh, you saw it. You saw it coming. And then Randy would just bounce out. You saw it coming. It was so, so nice. <laughs> Close on from Hill. Oh, God damn. Jeez, bro. Ah oh, man, it was just a a nice time in WWE, the ruthless regret uh, aggression era. I miss it. I really do. They really cared about the wrestling. They really cared about the talent, and they cared about the mid card because they knew they didn't have the big stars that they used to have. So. They had to make do with what they got and they made new stars or they made mid card champions that you cared about. I miss that type of feel. But let me know if y'all enjoyed that video. Hit the like button. Comment down below. What are some of your favorite moments from 2006? Um, also, let me know if you want me to do a part two. I probably will. I want to continue the series off on the best moves of 2006 so let me know if y'all want me to do a part two to this uh i'm interested in checking out the second clip because he already has the second clip up so i'm interested to check it out so be on the lookout for that but if you really want me to uh get part two up as soon as possible hit that like button let me know hey we want part two drop that shit son drop it hopefully i can get it done probably sometime this week so you know I could be caught up with that. I'm, I'm not sure if he finished them all yet, but I do know he has part two up. Um, and I just want to appreciate all the love and support. Hopefully everyone's having a, a great holidays, great Christmas, and more videos are on the way. So I appreciate y'all kicking it with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.